have been plenty of great games based on toys, such as Wii U exclusive LEGO City Undercover, but it's hard to recapture the imagination that's unleashed with the real thing. Cleverly blending physical toys and gaming together, Activision's Skylanders series made a huge impact on kids, as well as their parents' bank statements. Clearly inspired by its success, The Mouse House is now attempting its own spin on the formula with Disney Infinity. We have often been asked, where do we get the ideas for our stories? Developed by Avalanche Software, who previously worked on Pixar video game tie-ins Toy Story 3 and Cars 2, Disney Infinity features two distinctive modes which encourage freedom over linear gameplay. In order to play Disney Infinity, you'll need to collect various figurines, each one based upon a different iconic Disney character. By placing up to two different figures upon the interactive Infinity Base peripheral, your selected toys will be instantly transported into the game. Each figurine carries the ability to store your progress, allowing you to continue developing your character on another console. Well crafted and colourfully designed, the figure provides players with a different experience in Disney Infinity. So far, so Skylanders, but it's the double act of innovative game modes that makes Infinity unique, starting with the playsets. Here, players are thrust into worlds reminiscent of some of Disney's most famous movies, including Pirates of the Caribbean and The Incredibles. Playing as each corresponding film's characters, each playset is filled with varied missions and tasks, all inspired by the unique abilities of different characters. For example, playing within The Incredibles playset as Mr. Incredible grants the player superhuman strength within an open metropolis. Alternatively, the Pirates of the Caribbean playset features an entirely different experience as you sail the open seas of Tortuga as Jack Sparrow. With each playset offering unique gameplay and more opportunities to come with future toys, it's clear that Disney have set out to make each playset feel like its own distinctive experience. Whilst playsets offer traditional mission-based gameplay, it's the open-world freedom of the toy box that's perhaps the most charming addition to Infinity. Building upon a mode which first debuted in the Toy Story 3 video game, Toy Box unleashes players in a completely customizable sandbox. Here, characters from the different playsets can mingle freely, while the world can be completely customized to your heart's content. If you'd like to create a Disneyland-style amusement park filled with ridiculous contraptions, then go right ahead. As well as building and demolishing your very own online worlds, Infinity's Toy Box gives players the freedom to access every item they've unlocked. Adding even more depth are the additional power discs, which can be mixed and matched to give your characters up to two additional abilities. Available at launch with a recommended UK retail price of $64.99 for a starter pack, Disney Infinity isn't exactly a cheap proposition. Coming with a three-figure lineup of Mr. Incredible, Sully, and Captain Jack Sparrow, players will have access to every mission of the first three playsets based upon The Incredibles, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Monsters University. However, only by purchasing every figurine from each playset can players attain 100% completion. While this provides plenty of reasons for children and collectors to seek out the entire initial lineup of 21 figures, Disney are asking quite a lot of families if they're going to see everything that Infinity has to offer. Borrowing heavily from Activision Skylanders and asking gamers to invest plenty of cash to reach its full potential, it's easy to be cynical about Disney Infinity. However, the previous collaborations with Avalanche Software have resulted in some really great games, allowing us to remain optimistic that Disney's Infinity will be an irresistible playground of fun that'll delight any families who are prepared to pay the hefty entry fees.